How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today we're talking about a new platform that's really interesting. It's actually solving a real world issue. They went out and talked to people in the community that are not crypto enthusiasts and they asked what is the main problem here and I think they have a solution to fix it. They think they have a solution to fix it. Now, of course, do your own research. Uh, you know that I've been watching for different cryptos that are gaining in popularity that are coming to market now because in the next bull run there will be new cryptos that hit the market and go in the top 50 top 10 uh, so i've been keeping my eye open now the crypto that we're talking about today is angelo so angelo is a really interesting company uh, that is starting a fine art marketplace now there are just some problems with the fine art market right now there's a closed legacy network for collectors investors and auction houses artists and sellers have limited access to new audiences and their own collectors base uh, there's low liquidity art sellers fees can take up to 40 percent of the sale value from auction houses Artists have to rely on in-person fairs to generate collectors, and Instagram and other social media is too expensive to gain visibility. So what Angelo is going to do is they're creating a platform for artists and sellers to mint tradable art tokens that can be freely exchanged on marketplaces. So they have a, a primary marketplace and a secondary marketplace. They say that they're democratizing art uh, because the art token holders have DAO rights collector's marketplace where you can exchange art tokens and collector's benefits. They have super low fees, 75% lower than auction houses, 60% lower than OpenSea. And there's a Web3 ecosystem where uh, they can actually have global participation and connect audiences with artists. Now, they didn't exactly say this, but it sounds like what they're doing is creating a massive social platform where you can get these tokens and then you can have access to benefits kind of like you would in something like patreon so this is how it works here are the steps curated artists list their artwork on the angelo platform to sell their artwork as tokens by the way i'll leave links to this underneath the video this is a partner of the channel um so definitely do your own research but steps curated artists list their artwork on the angelo platform to sell their artwork as artist tokens the platform then tokenizes the artwork and allows collectors to purchase the art tokens on the primary market. Collectors can use the art tokens to gain access to the patron club, which has a number of social features to engage with artists as seen below. And collectors can then choose to trade or purchase more art tokens based on their preferred artist and levels of interaction. So you can see some of it down below. So a single art token holder can get a vote they can trade on the marketplace, they can get videos and gamification achievements. And then if you have two art or two or more art tokens, uh, you can be in this bronze tier, which also gives you early artwork access and lending slash selling art votes. And then you can get more votes if you have more tokens and you get access to live streams, VIP experiences and art messaging, artist messaging and polls. So you basically are able to get a lot more access to the artists that you might want to interact with instead of just buying art and then just looking at it and appreciating it. Now you can actually interact and learn more about the artists and maybe get a deeper understanding for their work. Here is a little bit about some of the upcoming artists. So we have Anna Kuhn and uh, Michelle Nigan. I'm probably destroying those names. Now, the largest artist that they probably have is Peter Davidinchko, and he is actually pretty well known because his artwork is pretty, I, I want to say jarring, but uh, he's very interesting. They have him for a live stream on the 9th of, no of November on the Angelo platform, and they're going to have this immersive experience to witness the creative process. He's going to be consuming roadkill rats as performance art and potentially create live artwork with it he's done similar things like that in the past and like i said it is pretty jarring so it gets a lot of attention um which is just really interesting um i need to hear more a little bit about why he does this or what his artistic thought process is but he's 
renowned for his unique installations, performances, and culinary art. He's based in France, and he has an innovative approach to art that has garnered a lot of attention. He's educated at Stockholm's Kunstfack Con- University and London's Royal College of Art. And his standout piece, Ascension, was showcased at the 5th International Biennale and now resides in Gens SMAK. Now, recently, they got some attention on beingcrypto.com because they had a drop. They called it the Season 1 Drop Campaign, and they dropped a mix of art tokens and Angelo tokens to early adopters. Now, they're doing a second drop that's actually going to be bigger. Um, so I, I would pay attention to them, sign up below underneath the video, take a look at their project, whatever you want to do, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but you can get Angelo tokens, you can get Angelo NFTs and memberships, you can get art tokens, and then you can get bizarre art pieces as well. So I would, I would pay attention to that. There's going to be a season two drop, as I said, that will be based on trading volume and will be actually larger than season one. So again, check it out underneath the video. Now on their website, you can go to the primary market and the secondary market. They're building both these out. As I said, it's coming here pretty soon. They say the second week of November, they're unleashing a groundbreaking platform that emer- that merges art and social interaction. So we'll have to check in on this over the coming days. This is their token allocation. Uh, this is for Angelo token. You can kind of see how the team is broken down and user rewards and treasury and ecosystem fund. Now, most of it is going to be vested over about two to four years, but public sale is available right away, obviously. And this is the team. You can get a lot more information like this on their website. They have a lot at the bottom of the page um, and a lot of links if you want to learn more. Let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Again, I'm not, I'm not huge into art, but I realize that there is a huge market for it. People spend lots of money on it, and right now it is pretty inefficient. So this is um, an industry that I'll be continuing to watch for the coming couple of years in crypto, and this is a project that I'll continue to watch. Again, let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. As always, do your own research, but I am looking for cryptocurrencies that are smaller in market cap um, to potentially invest in for the next bull run because I do think that there are going to be some low cap altcoins that do extremely well. Now keep in mind that these are more risky as well when you're investing in a project, whether it's in the pre-sale or early on in the public sale. Uh, It can be a little bit riskier, well definitely a lot riskier compared to something that's tried and true, but also depending on if you can get in before they get lots of users or lots of revenue, you can make a uh, large amount uh, as well. So there are a couple different ways to make money on Angelo specifically. Obviously, you can invest in the token. You can in, you can uh, buy different pieces of art uh, and gain some value there as well if you really like the artist. Keep in mind that you should do your own due diligence too on the artists themselves because obviously there are a lot of different uh, potential artists you can invest in. Thank you so much. Appreciate Angelo for sponsoring this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.